Welcome back to Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Recently, we had another Duelist Cup. I played for maybe the equivalent of an hour and a half. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't play for long. I had, I was working on a video that, I don't know when this video was gonna go out in comparison to that one. I think that one's going out probably this upcoming Friday, the 22nd of December. So we'll see how that stuff goes. I'm not sure how this week's gonna go in terms of videos. Cause I don't really wanna upload Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh this week, but we'll see what happens. Anyways, in the Duelist Cup, I had a pretty damn good time. I played some cards you'd never normally see me playing, such as Infinite Impermanence and Solemn Judgment. Why did I play these cards? I didn't know what else to put in this deck, so I just threw Solomon in, and I didn't wanna get a hit with the fucking, um, with the Bistial, so I put Impermanence instead of Valor. I have some replays for you. I actually had a pretty damn good time playing in this event when I did. The Gate Guardian deck, it just kind of worked a lot for some reason. Like, a lot of people didn't read Gate Guardians combined, and so I just kept getting Negate, 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 because it continuously activated an effect that targets it. And I was like, why are you doing this? What's wrong with you? I don't know. I also got Solemn Warning, like, eight times. You know how many times I summoned this fucking card and get Solemn Warning? This ha I don't know what happens. Whenever I play Gate Guardians, even in real life, I will for some reason only fight people or duel against people who are playing Solemn Warning. <laughs> Leave me the fuck alone! I don't want to get Solemn Warning to have my summon of this monster! Stop it, please! Anyways, here are the replays. Scooby Dooby Doo. That's a hand. It really actually works. Actually, a pretty decent hand. Fenrir. And stake your soul. Would you look at this? A card that can be put into any single deck in the Yu-Gi-Oh game because it's a free special summon that if your opponent activates a monster effect, you banish a card from their field. And Unicorn, you can banish a card from their extra deck. I fucking hate these cards. Get rid of them. Stake your soul. Sure. At the very least, there is no Dimension Shifter currently active, which is quite nice. Vanquish all spell and trap to add Dust Devil or Snow Devil. If only I remembered that. Effect to add Rise Heart to Hand, you piece of trash. Anyways, that's fine, I guess. Normal Summon Raisin, Raisin Effect to add Heavy Borg. Or link this off into Svanquisher Rock. Uh, to be fair, I didn't know what they were playing at the time. Like, figuring out what to hit here. I guess hitting Raisin might have been the smart idea with the Imperm. But also, I don't really know what fucking Vanquish Soul does. I know it activates effects on my turn, so I thought maybe if I keep the Imperm, I can just target and force them to return something to the hand right away. And then I don't have to worry about that. Effect this draw one card, but this can inflict damage, so I'm like, is this a problem? Effect, banish the top three, make it level seven. Banishes three pretty decent banishes, actually. It got rid of an Ecclesia, which would have been an amazing special summon. I just special summon that out, Albaz. They have to respond to it, because if they can't, that's just their field is gone. I can take whatever they want from them. Uh, and then Kazajin, which, that's fine. Yeah, I'm fortunate that that's gone. Shadow Ghoul, I already do have the field spell in my hand. Xyz the three and two. A Rise Heart! They could have just gone Shangri Era into a Rise Heart, but they also could have just gone Shangri Era and a Rise Heart because they activated the effect of a Kashira monster. So they could have just ranked the two sevens into that and then Rise Heart into a Rise Heart, which would have just been smarter, but. Oh, because they need to activate Shangri Era, not just a Kashira card. Oh, maybe not then. Now, active Imperm targeting the Rise Heart, get shit on. Rock the Vanquisher effect is going to special summon one. Not a big issue here. I just wanted that Arise Heart Banish gone and not worry about it. Raisin Effect is going to add one. Again, perfectly fine. This hand is not the best, I gotta say. Especially considering I don't run as many of the Labyrinth spells and traps as I used to. We'll send Kazuji in because it's gone. Special this. Effect of that to set one from Hand, Banish, or Deck. Back to Magician Souls to send this. Uh, I, I, don't, I was thinking when I made this decision, I was like, I should probably get rid of both it and double attack. Because if it goes through, I get a free draw two. If it doesn't go through, then I'm just still getting the effect of double attack to add whatever to my hand. Which, I, I just should have done it. I really just should have done it. Getting that two draw wouldn't have done much, but getting the effect to add it to hand would have been good too. So banish the three. It's fine here. Go into combined. Then this effect. Oh, get shit on. Effect of reasoning to mill dust devil. That's fine. Reveals Druus Worm. Reveals Caesar. Reveals only two, so my field doesn't get new. Double attack, wind and thunder, target attack uh, to destroy the Arise Heart. Let's just get rid of it. Don't want to worry about it later on. I could have just attacked over it. I don't know why I didn't, but I guess it's fine. Special's Mad Love, and we mill because they call level one. Friended opening, all those. Labyrinth heavy tank, effect is good. That's fine, adds one. Now we can normal summon or set one, and then add one to hand from Banish. We're gonna add the Sangha back to hand, most likely. That effect is going to return one monster lowest defense in the field of the hand. 
I guess it's probably going to return Magician Souls to hand because it'd be tied between Rock and Magician Souls. Mad Love's got nice card art. I gotta say that. I'm not a fan of the of the Vanquish Soul ones, but I really like Mad Love's. Just a very nice style. Jewish Swim, you piece of filth. I hate you. That's fine. No monsters in my graveyard. Banish them to Special Summon. Not a problem. Uh, add Suijin to hand to destroy that. I was... This actually took me a second here to think about. I was thinking if I get rid of any of these. I didn't read this shit. I didn't read that these cards couldn't be destroyed. I don't know why they couldn't be destroyed. I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I still don't really know. But, like, this card probably should have been destroyed. I should have gotten rid of Jewish Swarm because then they'd activate the effect of Jewish Swarm to target this and I can just use a negate on this. I don't know why I didn't. Because this card, if you want to read it right there, when your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card you control, you can negate that effect. Not an activation. Meaning in damage step, goodbye combined. Then effect a special one. Summon this to add one. I mean, adding a second uh, double attack is fine. I probably didn't need to, but it's fine another way. Double attack. The double attack effect to activate and destroy. Not a once per turn destruction, only a once per turn on the add effect. Do I have decent card in hand with Magician Souls. I can send my way things away and then set things back up. Reveal Caesar. Effect a special summon one from deck. Special summon Pantera. Link Pantera into rock. Mm-hmm. Raisin to hand is not an issue. Normal raisin in effect to add. Effect. Make it undestroyable by card effects. I don't know why you did that. Doesn't do much. I guess it's just for Zhao Long effect a special and to go into Nightmare Cerberus? Sure. I mean, not a problem. I'll banish the branded opening to protect my cards. I milled it earlier with reasoning. Then I get to draw for turn. Draw Albaz! Heavy tank effect. Uh, Rock the Vanquisher effect to add. But heavy Dank effect is going to set the Sangha of the Thunder from my Banished, which is damn nice. Put that right there. Destroy that effect. For some reason, still can't be destroyed. I I really don't get it. I don't understand why they're not destroyable. Like, is Raisin for all Vanquish Soul monsters? I was... Thomas is meowing. I'm pretty confident Raisin's just itself, but I guess I'm clearly misunderstanding. Set Suijin in from the field. Send Illusion to Chaos to Special Summon. Effect to send away the two. To draw two more cards. Normal Albaz. Albaz effect to discard Su uh, Kase Jin. Fusion summon these two into Mirojado. Now I can banish the three from the graveyard to make combine and attack for game, but it's fine because I win right there. Get shit on, cool boy. Now, this hand is playable, actually. Quite playable. In fact, going first, this hand would be... I don't want to say it'd be good. But, I'd Special Magician Souls by sending Suijin. Then I'd send the two away for cost, hoping to draw. If I get the draw, I can then draw whatever. Maybe I'll draw an Aluber or a Branded Opening or some something. Then I get the effect of Wind and Thunder to banish to add one. I pick up there. Overtake! Junk Warrior. Special Junk Synchro on in a few frames a second. Synchro these two into Junk Speed, though, which I have a QCR of. I have two of it, actually. Thanks again, Dakota. He bought me one of them, and I'm really appreciative. Uh, well, he traded for them. Junk Speeder? No. No, I opened the one of Imperm, one of Solemn. Fuck yourself. And double double attack. Both of those. So, uh, No, I played enough Synchro. It's my turn to say no to you. Get shit on you, piss boy. Draw for turn. Albaz! Magician Soul Effect. Send Suijin to Special Summon. Maxi. Why are you the way that you are? I guess it's fine. It doesn't change too much here. If I'm lucky with these draws, I'll have game, but it's unlikely. Let's send both away, the and they drew the ash. Okay. I guess that's fine. I guess that's fine. Double attack effect. Banish to add the switch into hand. Normal summon Albaz effect discard. Ooh, Imperm! Now I feel even less bad because you were playing Imperm, you fuckboy. Oh no, you negated my shit. I guess I'll go battle phase and say goodbye to your speeder. Set Solemn Judgment and then pass my turn for them. This is actually a really difficult situation to be in because if they draw into Junk Synchron, then they normal summon that. That's rough here. But Pot of Avarice targets the five, targets... Junk Speeder, Ash, Maxi, Junk Synchron, Synchron Carrier. This is a four, 50 card deck or so. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
49 card deck? Interesting. It's, it's a situation to be in which is rough because if he has Avarice right here and he targets the 5, if I negate the Avarice and in hand he has Junk Synchron, he has full combo and I lose this game. But it's also unlikely that he's running 2 speeders because as someone who plays a fuck ton of Synchro stuff, although I do play Yu-Gi-Oh differently than most people do, I don't like running 2 speeder because there's not enough extra deck space to play all the other cards that I want to play. So I think it's a smart idea to solemn this here because it's very unlikely he'll have one of the 3 Junk Synchrons. But he could have Synchro Overtake at 3, on your market at Duel at 3, he could have Tuning at 3, or Junk Synchron who's also at 3. So that's like 12, 15 cards that he could have there, which could just help him out. Drop a turn because they had nothing, thank god for that normal heavy tank and effect to set 1. Banish the 3, I don't know why I didn't use Magician Soul's effect, but I didn't. Do that, effect you add it. I really, really should have used Magician Soul effect here, because now I'm just in a bad situation. If they can summon out, or if they get any of their searchers to summon out Junk Synchron or Junk Speeder next turn, I just straight up lose. This card can attack when it's normal summon. Junk forward, Synchro these two off into Cupid Pitch! Now, if you were running Morphtronic Earphone, it'd have done nothing for you, but it'd be a cool card to have seen instead of this same tuning Synchro card, because, you know, it is what it is. In fact, is to add. Now, if he survives this turn, you're good because you have the Junk Synchron in hand. That's pretty unfortunate. Increase levels, okay. Drop a turn. Bottom Ball Shadow. That's what I like to see. Activate. And we'll set the Sui Gen, probably. Activate effect to set a Kazi Gen. Target destroy. Now this effect, send the two to draw two. That's fine. And they pass and surrender. Because we would have had game there if that was destroyed. We could have just attacked right there. I love this deck. This deck is fun, but it feels... When I'm playing this deck, it doesn't feel like I'm doing anything. That's the issue that I have with it. It's like, I could do things well, but it just doesn't feel like I'm doing anything to actually have the field that I'm setting up. Because the field that I'm setting up is also just really, really weak. It's three targeting negates. If you target a card I control on my field. Instead of just target three cards I own, which also would have been just been better. Three tar target three cards you own. You know, that would have been great, or just, you know, any target negate, if your opponent activates a card or effect that targets a card, negate the effect, destroy it. That's still good and not broken. I don't know why it wasn't any of these things. This dude's Master Duel icon is literally a fucking Gundam. I don't know what card that is. Oh, he's playing Sprite. Imperia, draw Sprite Blue, of course. Of course it's Sprite Blue. Effect to add Runic Tip, you motherfucker, it's Sprite Runic! Stop playing Runic! I hate it! No one finds it fun! You can't tell me you've ever had fun playing against Runic in your life! Managing Magician Souls sucks! I wish I had that card! If I only drew my three max C's here, they'd have been fucked over! Allure, are you fucking kidding me? Dispelling, that's fine. Special summon a Runic monster. Hugin! Hugin effect! Discard to add one! Oh my god! Oh my god! D send away Dispelling. I, I, I hate, I hate this shit. Add the field spell. I'm just gonna fast forward here because who fucking cares? Banish Wall Shadow. Can I just say, their banishes did fucking nothing to me for so long. Sprite Starter to hand. Link these two to Gigantic Sprite or a C Summon. Sprite Starter effect is special. Effect here, banish one more. Effect is special. Link these two to Sprite Elf. Effect is special. Jesus Christ. Link these two special into IP Mask. And that's pretty much end of turn. Now, in my graveyard, three cards don't matter at all. One card in hand. It's for sure a quick play spell card because then they can just target three. Runic tip. Of course it was! Add one branded opening in response. That's unfortunate because Runic Allure is going to still banish another for me. Now, discard Sewage into special Aluber. And we'll see what gets banished on resolution here. Add to hand. Flashing fire. Not a problem for me at all. That sucks that that's banished, but I mean, I guess it's fine. Banish the top two. And let's see what gets banished. Effect to add a branded spell or trap, and we'll see. Then effect to return three, and again, we'll see what happens here. Will anything of value happen? Effect to target banish top two. Motherfucker, can I, like, what a chain. Still though, like, nothing of value has been banished so far. Like, this is cool. This is damn good for me. Add branded fusion. Effect to banish one. Reasoning. Effect to banish one. Kazajin, we take those. Banish one more. Maxi, you absolute piece of fucking filth! Die! 
this is a problem that I have with Yu-Gi-Oh in general, which is just like you can just put a bunch of really strong cards in. And I think there could be a format of Yu-Gi-Oh or even a separate game where Yu-Gi-Oh could be a more casual or more competitively restrictive game in which they add point worth point values to each card and so a deck can only have a maximum of certain point values and card like max c will have like five points and so if your maximum value is 50 having three max c is 15 of your 50 card points and most cards are two to three each right or max c i guess could be like seven or something just to make it like if you really want to play this card that's a lot of your points gone things like that albaz vanish fuck okay I can have Brand of Fusion. Normal summon this because I need to keep the Brand of Fusion. They have the Spell and Trap Negate on field right now. Sprite Elf, you're a piece of filth. Why the fuck this card is still in Master when it's banned everywhere else? I don't know. Blink these two off into... Un unkillable. I literally can't kill Abram. Like, I, I... The only thing I can do is to Labyrinth Heavy Tank. So if I had activated Wall Shadow first, then I could have done things. But, you know, Sprite Carrot would have just... No, I guess I should have activated Wall Shadow first, shouldn't I? But he could have had one of the ones to destroy Sp uh, Spell and Trap back here. Ecclesia effect, tribute for cost, two special one from deck, negate the effect of sprite red, we're okay with that. I simply wanted that gone. I simply wanted the sprite red negate out of the way. That way I could use heavy tank effect. Freezing curse. And there's Fallen of Albaz 2, baby! That's game for me! And there's Shavness. <laughs> Having the fucking fast forward on that surrender was incredibly funny. But no, I had nothing I could do there. Because they still didn't use the spell and trap negate. I mean, Brand Fusion wasn't even activatable at that point because both my Albazes were in and banished. So, I mean, shit is what it is. Those first, like, seven banishes did absolutely nothing to me. Stop playing Runic, please. I beg of you. I beg. I beg of you, please. Not a bad starting hand at all. One of, one of, three of, two of, two of. So, relatively well shuffled starting hand. No four one ofs as usual. Effect to set one. Did we get Max Seed here? No. Nope. Branded Fusion. Send away the song and the Albaz. They actually had a response on Summon here, which was pretty interesting because they didn't do anything. I'll be on Effect banishing itself an Albaz. I thought it'd be smarter to just do this in case they had an Imperm or a Veiler or something, just to go straight into Mirror Jade here. So I stand by this. Druid Swarm is what they had, though. I wish I just went Lubelion. I guess it's fine. Effect of that is fine. Setting these two. Which doesn't work here, but, you know, just having this nice Imperm's cool. Melody of Awakening Dragon. Discard one to add Blue Eyes, and then to add Alternative. What did they discard? Oh, I remember what they were playing now. This motherfucker was crazy. This guy was insane. I don't know what he was doing. Target, let's effect, negate the effect right there. We don't want that gun at all. We want to keep it here to the best of our abilities. That's cool. Now they have Attack Position and... Perform a coin dragon, which increases their attack by 500. They can't be destroyed by card effects. Battle phase effect. We banish the that one. I probably should have just banished the coin dragon, but I mean it is what it is. Also, how does that work? Alternative effect was negated, but he activated his effect. So this card could have attacked this turn, right? Just to make sure. Like someone in the comments could let me know. Alternative because its effect was negated, it could have attacked this turn. I should have used Albaz here, discarding this, but I thought in case I get another discard card, like Branded Opening, I should keep it. Turn the two. Alubur Effect is going to add Branded Banishment to hand, I believe. Branded Banishment is going to get set onto the field, and we're going to activate this effect to set the Sangha from Graveyard. Banish the three. Special Summon out. Combine. Set Banishment. Battle Phase Attack 18, 37, 50. Quite nice. Also, we had to Special Summon the Albaz during the end phase there, instead of adding it to hand. Uh, that way we could use Labyrinth Wall Shadow uh, and attack there, or I could take this thing if I really wanted to and go into whatever. But it was uh, level four, and I don't really think I could have done anything other than go Avalanathus. But I'd rather I'd rather keep Albas in the field just because they could special something out with Druid Swarm or any of the Bestials. Because then if, if that happens, then I just take them with Avalanathus there. Banishment, come out, bring Mirror Jade back. Hello, buddy. People want this card limited. I don't know why they want Mirror Jade Limited. Lim Mirror Jade at three or two would be fine to me. Mirror Jade at three, I can agree Mirror Jade probably shouldn't be at three, but it's not played at three anyways. But Mirror Jade at two seems reasonable to me. Then use the three here to go into Albalanitis. Such a beautiful card. One of the best rares I have in this game. I love the foiling on this card. And that's it for game. Ice Hop Surrender, who has also a Gundam. So yeah, as I said at the start of this video, a lot of people don't like the Duelist Cup because Maxi's in it. I agree. Fuck this card. It should be gone. Maxi should probably just be banned.
I don't know why it's still in the game or why it's allowed in an event like that, which is supposed to be a tournament relating to skill, but Konami clearly doesn't care, or the investors don't care, or whatever, who knows? Who knows what the plethora of reasons could be? Uh, I hate using impermanence, never going in a deck I own again. See you guys next time. Take care of yourselves.